Hey guys, Weedy Waffle here today. Nope. Hey guys, Weedy Waffle. Nope. Planet Coaster 2 playing our park of waffle. Ugh. Hey guys, Weedy Waffle here today, and we are back in Planet Coaster 2 playing our park of Waffle Land. Uh, in between parts, I did a little bit of detailing as I always do. Uh, this time it was a bit more minor. I did build a new Cosmic Cow milkshake shop over here just to get some people uh, hanging out over in our new plaza next to Forest Rush, our coaster. Um, and then I also did a bit more reworking of this central area's uh, detailing. So I changed up kind of the variety we have here for our plants and then used that same variety around the bumper cars. And then I gave this queue line here, this beautiful, uh, what is this, a trellis. I gave it this trellis. It's so loud down there. Holy cow, I gotta back out. Woo! And that was really about it. There wasn't a ton else we did. This forest rush, I will say, we keep having the issue where the person who works here travels really far to get to the ride. And because they have to travel so far, uh, it takes forever for them to leave the staff room all the way over here and get all the way to the ride. So it clears out the queue every time, which is not ideal. So that's something I want to try to solve for next time. There was a hot fix in between parts, which is now causing a new issue where people are just queuing up outside of the queue lines, which I don't know how I feel about this. Um, I'm going to ignore it for now, and we're just going to get started building our next section, and we'll see what happens. What I would like to do today is begin to play around with some of these new features that we have uh, in Planet Coaster 2. So that includes our pools, and that includes some flumes. So what I'm going to work on is this area right here, we've already got a nice kind of curvaceous section of path, and I feel like this would work really well for a pool. So we've got our main kind of traveling path here, uh, our kind of main through fare that sends people up and down from the entrance. But I think what I want to do is have this area here become our pool section. So let's go ahead and jump in here. We're going to create our own. I prefer to do this by hand. Let's do a draw tool and let's see what we get up to. So I'm thinking I would want to keep this area relatively open so that we could build some type of changing room and such. So let's bring the pool along this way and let's turn off our angle snapping. Because what I'm thinking is that we will send our pool over this direction. We'll bump it out here, but then we will send it back. I think we do a nice large curve here. And then let's give this area a little bit more of a bump out as well. So now we have this beautiful pool. A little large, but it'll work. Uh, I do want to get rid or change some of these settings we've got here. So small pool tile. What's a concrete pool look like? Prestige. I've now, I've now clicked off and I've totally screwed myself. There we go. Now that's all been edited. Now let's go into our edit tool and I do want to change just a few sections here. So I'd like to see this have a bit more of a curve. I feel like that would be a requirement just to make that a bit easier to navigate. And then this area here, I kind of like that this is just a little bit of a bump out. I do think I do want to have some section that is for diving. I think that could be cool over here. So let's see, let's see if we can make this work. I don't know if we can because this seems to be really finicky at best. We're gonna select this whole area and we're gonna lower this area down. Nothing happened there. There we go. There we go. Um, it's ugly, but it is lower, so that's good. Now if we go from here to here, we could lower that down a little bit, get a bit more of a slope there. Okay. And then if we go from here to here, we could lower that down a little bit as well. Soften up that slope a little bit. Now we have a clear diving board section over this way. If I go like this and raise it up just a bit, nothing crazy. Actually, raise it up all the way, get crazy. Let's do this. Select this area, try to smooth that out a little bit. See how we have kind of were able to smooth that? That looks nice. Can we smooth it even further if I do a little bit of both? There's another level there. That brings in a second level, which I like. If I lower that one down, then here we go. Okay, so I can also adjust individual pieces to help us get a nice slope here. Ooh, 
took a while, but now we have kind of a waiting area that you can then walk down into the main section of the pool, but then there's also this diving corner over here. Now, I am going to change up our pathways here. I'm wondering if I can just do that with the delete tool. Looks like I can. So what we're gonna do is if I can edit this with the delete tool, then more than likely, I can also change this by just selecting it and painting over it. So let's see if I can do that. Yes. Although, is that the color I wanted? That's blue. I wouldn't call that blue. It is, it is a color but it's not blue. So now I've been able to go ahead and fill this area here with a pool and we've got the pathway coming around just as we like it. So let's now make some adjustments to the pool itself. We're gonna need some pool extras. There is a diving board high, which I definitely want. I think we're gonna place one. I can't go up any higher than this. So I think we're gonna place one here kind of right in the center almost, facing straight on in. And then we'll place uh, one next to it that's a little bit shallower. Although they snap to the sides. So I would say it might make more sense to have them on a perfectly straight level area because they're leaning into each other, but that'll be fine. We'll survive. We could place a lifeguard chair here right on the corner to look out through everything. And then we could place a shorter one that would be predominantly focused around this area. So we can watch the people jumping off of the, jumping off of these two diving boards here. And then we can, let's go, there's no changing rooms. I know there's no changing rooms. We're not, we're not ready yet. We're not ready yet. It's gonna take me a second. Sun loungers. So. What we want to do with the sun loungers is we want to have enough that people can sit around and enjoy being near the pool without having to be in the pool. But first, let's read our end of day report for day two. Guest experience today was 3.94 stars. Park reputation, 3.89 stars. Park rating, 1.4 stars. With zero average rides for adults and children. It's okay, we only have three rides so far. We're working on it. Uh, the profit though, Man, the profit is $47,750. That is more than double what we made last month, so I'm not mad about it. Let's go ahead. I would kind of like these to be like a nice, light, sea foamy green color. I think this just looks nice. Let's go ahead and place one. Why are you doing this to me where you change color? That's like just, that's not how this is supposed to go. Duplicate. Two, three, uh, nope, nope. All right, so if you place it and then you undo, you uh, unfortunately revert back to that not ideal like mauve color that isn't the best. Just kidding, we'll do a few more there. Okay, so now we've got some seats all the way around. I think that's pretty good. Let me jump in real quick and build out a little changing station here to get people to begin to access the pool area. Let's figure out how that's going to work. And then we'll deal with decorations and making the pool look beautiful either in between parts or I'll do that off camera. So let's go to facilities and check out how this works. So we need, really, I need a few things to make this happen. The first thing we're going to need is a changing room. Okay, I was just spending some time building out our new little changing station when uh, I realized everyone was using it and now the pool is just full of people. 
I was not paying that much attention. I should have. I should have done more. Okay. Uh, there are a few. <laughs> this is ridiculous. How many people are here? Like, look at all this. How are you all having a good time? There's just no way. It's seven dollars for a pool pass. Somehow y'all, you're all, y'all are paying somebody. I don't know who is getting paid with the full pool pass. Does anybody use these? Like, do we get to see? Oh, there. Oh, there he goes. We've got a little shack, which is kind of nice. Um, nothing crazy here. Looks pretty good. I only did that side. I haven't really done these two sides yet. I gotta work on that. I do, though, however, want to basically take what we've got going on right here. So that's gonna include this building. It's gonna include this building. We need to do some multi-select. We are going to replicate what's over here so that we can build out a little staff area. We're going to go ahead and build this. But then what I want to do is delete a few things. So we need to edit this building and essentially we're going to zoom out, take all of this, hit delete, 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 delete. Just get rid of all these guys, get rid of that. In here, we can put in a water filter and we can put in a water pump. So let's grab the water pump. Let's rotate this a bit. We want to add it to this building. So I'm going to click on the building. I'm going to place the water pump actually behind our bathroom, I think. And then next door to that, I'm gonna place one of these water filters. Now, this is gonna require we do a little bit of editing of this building, so let me just do that really quickly. I've got this done enough for now. It's just a staff building, which I turned gray, and I deleted some of the, the exterior signage we had on this building. Uh, and then I threw in the water pump and the water filter. So as long as this filter uh, circle touches any portion of the pool or a body of water, it will clean that body of water. So this pool is now covered by uh, this filter. It's starting to rain again, which is never great. I think what we need to do now is I will build some dryers uh, in a bit here. I know that building buildings is not always the most exciting. So instead, why don't I go ahead and build some type of log flume that's going to send people into this pool here. I think that log flume could go right back here. Let's give this a try. I might even just use one of these pre-built ones because I'm not that great at this yet. This really cuts off the access though for this area, which I don't, I don't love that. You know what? Let's just build our own. This is the fun of this game. I think we build our own. Let's do a body slide, a simple water slide with high angle slopes for guests to enjoy. Let's bring it up to about here, I think. Uh, maybe a little bit lower than that. I will say I'm still learning how to do these slides uh, in the best way, and they are not easy. I'll put it that way. A little difficult to use, uh, mainly because they just function so differently than anything else that we've been building in Planet Coaster. All right, so if this slide were to come down here, you know what? The slides, I don't think, turn. Yeah, I don't think you can turn these. I think they are just... They are just a slide, transparent slide. Yeah, it's just a slide. You can go up and down. Let's go ahead and get you started by going down a little bit here. Then we're gonna send you straight on out. I think we uh, we can't go up any, because it's just a slide. So we'll send you down again. We'll go back on up a little bit. We'll go back on down, and this time, we'll really kind of send you down. Then we'll end with a uh, ride end, or better yet, let's do this. Let's back this up to here. Then we do a ride end. Now, so it's a piece of track to edit it. I don't want to edit anything yet. I want to scoot this whole thing back to about here, I'd say. So that'll be our first slide in our park, which isn't too bad. We do have people walking through it, but all around, how is that as a drop? You come out, it's a bit high. Let's do advanced move here. Let's just lower this down a bit closer to the water. This spot is obstructed. This spot is obstructed. This spot is obstructed. What, what has you obstructed? Is it that guy? Like if I put you there, yeah, you work fine there. Okay, so then it's just that platform that I was also hoping would move as well, but I guess not. Let's place it right here. I think that looks pretty good. Now we do need some type of entrance. Is there another body? There it goes. Woo! I mean, 
Works for me. Let's put the entrance over here. Although I would love the actual entrance to be flipped. Can I hit Z to do that? No. So the entrance could go behind, and then we could place a second ride over there. Or we could have the entrance here in front, and you kind of climb up, and then we do another... Oh, you know what? Here's what we do. Here's what we do. Body slide four. We want to edit the flume. What I really want to do is I want to place another kind of one of these Johns. How do I get... I think let's do another body slide. Okay. Even though it's a little boring, I know it's not like the most exciting type of ride. Let's do another one of these right here. And I wonder if this entrance counts for both. We're going to find out. So let's go ahead. This one, we did a little drop there. I think this one is going to be a bit more of an intense drop. You're going to come down like this. Boom. You're going to go up like this. You're going to come up like so. Well, that's a little bit tight, so let's back this up so people can still get underneath. Yes, okay, so this entrance does count for both slides. Let's go ahead and change the color of this guy because it looks way too similar to the other. Do double purple, then do double lavender. Right, just like so. And then make the supports like a, a deeper black color, I think. More closely match the supports of this larger building here. You can still walk underneath, which is important. But then this one here, I think we change the color of this to uh, varying shades of yellow. So we'll do sand, then we'll do yellow, then we'll do pear, then we'll do pale yellow. And now we've got two water slides. Heck yeah! It's already getting a nice little line here too. All right. We're going to jump into a quick time lapse because I think that our water slides need to have some type of building around them. And then we can do some trees, give this area a little bit of palm action, and see how this turns out in the end. So now we got Dual Splash, our new dual water slide co uh, slides. Our new dual water slides. That's it. There's no more, nothing else to add after that sentence. Our new dual water slides called Dual Splash. Um, if you have a better name, let me know in the comments, but I think that looks pretty nice. Uh, all around, it gives us just a little bit of height back here, and I think helps cap off, whoop, I'm stuck in the coaster. I think it helps us cap off this area of the park. This is now pretty much done. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of the scenery brush. We have a few options here. I really like the temperate forest brush. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come behind here, and we are going to put in some trees. Let's reduce this down a bit more. 
like about to here, I would say. And let's increase the intensity to 80 so they can get a little bit closer together. Like, don't be, don't be afraid of your neighbors here, fam. Then let's also do the park brush, also temperate. And just let's just kind of close in this zone. Now we do have this path here that's gonna come out, but now this is pretty much one area of the park. Um, I'm really happy with that, actually. It looks kind of nice. I almost wonder if it would make more sense for us to put like a hill behind Dual Splash. But for now, that's gonna do. Now what I wanna do before we kind of wrap things up for the day, I do want us to get some type of drying stations in here. I think the easiest way for us to do that is going to be to duplicate this building. Let's go ahead and rotate it around to here, facing this direction, and we'll place it right here. Actually, I wouldn't mind it being angled. Could we do that? Ooh, ooh, yeah, just like this. Now, let's go in here, let's delete both of these buildings because we don't want either of those. Okay, and we can probably delete that center post there. We could also take, I'm thinking, all of these here, little pool noodles. These we can duplicate. Let's go ahead and just move a set of these over here, kind of like by this slide entrance there. And then the ones that we have selected here, I think we can just delete, okay? Otherwise, I don't think I'm gonna change anything about this. We're gonna remove both of these guys and I'm gonna take all of these posters. We're gonna advance move them. We're gonna slap X turn on angle snap, rotate them, hit X two more times and scoot them all over. We're gonna use the exact same posters just on the opposite side. Now, again, more work could be done here. We'll slowly finesse things as we go, but I think for the most part, this gives us what we need to get this stuff started. Then, body dryers. Let's get two of these in here. Bam, too steep. How is that too steep? It's outside of the power. Uh, area. Yeah, our closest distributor doesn't cover it. So, here's what's going to happen. Go back here, edit this building, let's get ourselves a power distributor. Let's place that right here. Let's get a new power connection between this distributor and this unit. We could also do another one between this distributor and this unit. So now we've got kind of like an enclosed circuit here. Everything's connected to everything else. I think is great. And then let's go into this building, duplicate this wall and put that right there. If you need a dryer, there it is. There's a bench right in front of it. Let's go around real fast and just add in a few other benches. I think this would be pretty nice. I'd love to have two benches here in front of that rock. We could also have, I think a food stall of some kind over here or something, but for now we'll do just three benches kind of spread out in that area. And then over here, uh, I kind of like what we've got going on here with these benches facing this direction. So let's do a second set of benches on the opposing side. So that way you can sit on either side and stare into the pool area. And then let's go ahead and just give these matching trash cans. We'll do one and two right here next to each other. Place a third one there. We'll place one here near the exit of this pool area. We have one right there, but we don't have one on this side. So let's place this one right there. And then we'll do another one here near the bathrooms. So you've got more than enough trash can coverage for this area. Last but not least, I think what we should do is figure out how we want to bring in some palm trees to this area. And I was thinking we're going to keep this relatively simple. We're going to grab a rock. It could be this rock. It could be this rock. It frankly could be any rock. I think that this rock, let's just give this a 360. I think this is a good rock. Here's what I want to do. I want to rotate this rock like this. And I want to take this flat edge here and use that as my kind of base area, right? So there's this rock right there, bam. Now on top of that, we're gonna put in a palm tree. There's a few that I really like, but I think I'm particularly a fan of this one. So let's see if we can make this like significantly smaller. It just has the leaf coverage that I want to see. So I don't want it just to be too big though. So this looks pretty good actually. Hold on. Place this right here. 
Now we've got a palm tree there looking nice. Confirm selection. We're going to group this scenery as one building and then we are going to duplicate it. And what we're going to do is hit the wrong button and mess up. We're going to duplicate it. And then we are going to rotate this and just kind of place it in a few key areas. Like I think right here, it'd be nice to have a palm tree. It could be really nice to have one kind of right here on the edge near our heat dryers. We could place another one kind of here in the center to think the only downside of that is that blocks the sign for dual splash. So I don't know if that would be the ideal place for it. We could put one behind there. It kind of mimics some of the trees you're seeing that direction. I don't want to block the queue line either. We could also put one right over here in the corner near the bathrooms. Just bring in that tropical vibe a little bit closer to everything else. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to stick one really close to this building. It's going to intersect and in any other world that would suck. But in Planet Zoo or Planet Coaster, you can really just edit things to look really nice. And that just gives that whole area uh, a little bit of something. We love it. Okay, I think there's a few things I'm missing. I think I'm missing like suntan lotion and I think I'm missing um, a food stall. I think I'm missing maybe, I don't know, more changing rooms because if we look here, I mean, these lines, these lines are something. I would like another changing room. We could think about doing a changing room uh, and a food stall over here or an information booth so people don't get sunburned because I think if we go check this, I'm going to bet you people are going to get sunburned soon. So far, they're all good, but it won't be long. So we'll have to deal with that in the next part. Okay, so here we go. We've got our new pool and dual splash, and things are looking good. We're making money. People are happy, and our park rating is now up at 1.8 stars, which is great. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm going to do a bit more detailing in between episodes, but if you want to see anything in particular, just let me know in the comments below, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.